In this lecture, I'd like to share with you our experience using MRI to evaluate malignant uterine and adnexal masses for staging and for tumor management. Endometrial cancer uh, involves 380,000 new diagnoses this year worldwide. In the Europe, there will be 100,000 cases. In the United States, 62,000. In Canada, 7,300. Overall, endometrial cancer accounts for about 4% of malignancies in women and 2% of cancer-related deaths. The five-year survival is actually quite good. Uh, it's 81% for endometrial cancer. Uh, you can see that uh, it, this is because the majority of these patients are going to present with localized disease, 68%. The survival of that group is 96%. For distant metastasis, it drops to 16%. But that represents only about 8% of uh, diagnosis patients. Now, the overall prognosis is related to age, histologic tumor grade, cell type, tumor stage, and most importantly, lymph node status. If you have periaortic lymph nodes, it significantly decreases prognosis. And we can use MRI to predict nodal status. We know that if we can define cervical stromal involvement by the tumor, two-thirds of those patients will have lymphadenopathy that's malignant. And we can also look at depth of myometrial invasion. If there's only a superficial wall invasion, only 9% of those patients will have lymph node metastasis. Whereas once you have deep invasion of the myometrial wall, 34% of those patients will have malignant lymphadenopathy. We can stage ovarian cancer. Uh, stage zero, of course, is a carcinoma in situ. Stage one tumors have extended into the wall. Stage two tumors involve the cervix. Stage three has extended through the uterus to reach nearby tissues, such as the vagina and or lymph nodes. And stage four, of course, are pa patients who have more aggressive local disease involving the bladder or the bowel in the pelvis or have distant metastasis to multiple organs. I think it's nice to look at this uh, graphically. Stage 1a tumors on the left involve less than 50% of the myometrium. Stage uh, 1b tumors have extended more deeply to involve equal to or more than 50% of the wall thickness. Stage 2 tumors involve the cervix. Stage 3 tumors extend out of the uterus to involve the fallopian tubes or the ovaries. And stage uh, 3b tumors are going to be those which involve the vagina or the parametrium. Stage 3 C cancers are those which involve uh, pelvic or paraerotic nodes. 4A malignancies involve the bladder or the bowel, and 4B, of course, involve distant uh, organs from metastasis.